Hey guys, uh, real quick, we are going to uh, learn about uh, transformations, and transformations are several different types, but the type we're going to talk about today is something called a translation. And a translation is a slide. It's basically we take a shape and it slides without any sort of rotation along, um, uh, along a fixed line. So, it, for example, if I had points A, B, and C, it would slide to a new position that we would call a prime, B prime, and C prime. In a translation, the relative position of A, B, and C don't change at all. So if B is directly below A by, say, two units, then our new position, A prime and B prime, B prime would be directly below A prime in exactly uh, two units. So let's take a look to see um, uh, what that looks like, okay? So again, when we talk about a translation, it's something that can slide in uh, any direction. It can go just uh, straight uh, left and right, up or down, or even diagonal. But I do want you to notice that um, each of the points, A, B, and C, for example, they don't change position relative to each other. In other words, no matter where it goes on this um, on this coordinate grid, that A will always be uh, four below and two to the left of A, no matter where it goes. Okay, so just kind of notice that as this moves around, that the actual position never changes. It's just a slide. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to translate this figure a fixed amount. So this notation here says I'm going to translate, I'm going to slide it, and this little thing that looks like a point is very similar to a point. Think of these x, y as how much it's going to change in the x direction and how much it's going to change in the y direction. When I say how much, I really mean the whole object, but what we want to do is pick out particular points that are going to make this uh, translation. So I'm going to put points on the vertices of this triangle and we're going to fill in a little table. Now this table is going to take our original points A, B, and C and it's going to translate it into new points A prime, B prime, and C prime. And each of these points are going to translate by this amount right here, this 10, negative 7. So let's take a look what that means. Um, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these, the coordinates of these points, like notice A is just a negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then a positive 9, and that gets us up to here at negative 5, 9. Okay. So the translation here, this 10 means I'm going to go in the x direction, a positive 10. But then I have this negative 7 in the y position, that means I'm going to go down that negative 7. Remember, this 10 is in the x direction. This negative 7 is in the y direction. That's going to give me my new point, A prime. So notice I've taken A and moved it. I've translated it, 10, negative 7, to my new position, A prime. And if I look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, and this point being 5, 2, and I put it on the table, um, What's important to notice is that it is exactly, as I go from negative 5 to 5, it's 10 units. Uh, basically, that's a plus 10 with the x. And a negative 7, as I go from a 9 to a 2 in the y. And that just slides this entire shape like this. And these new positions here, or these new points, b prime and c prime, Notice that their x coordinates go up by 10 and their y coordinates go down by 7. So that's considered a translation in two dimensional space, a translation of, a, um, uh, of this shape. So, what I'd like you guys to do tonight is I've made a shape here, A, B, C, D, and I'm asking you is tell me what the new coordinates would be if I translated this shape and I translate point A to point A prime. In A prime I'm go taking this point and going from A to A prime. What I'd like you to have in class for me tomorrow uh, are, is this table filled out and um, we'll see you tomorrow.